Hey doll family, Spring Flower here and welcome to Spring Flower's Amazing Doll Connection. So as you guys can see uh, from my title, I've got something that I need to say. You guys know I don't really come on this internet and I don't really, I don't be defending people. I said it that last, last year or year before, like I'm done with all that kind of stuff. But I also said that I will defend my friends, okay? I will uh, speak up uh, for my friends who I consider my friends, Okay. And some of you all decided, not a whole lot of people, if this is for you, it's for you. If it's not for you, keep it pushing, right? But let me tell you like something, right? Some of you all decided you're just going to come up right on Beyonce's internet and try to make these long posts about my friend, right? Make some long posts about my friend and about try to talk about her house and, and you try to talk about how she gets her food and how you're disgusted about how she does things and because she gets Botox, you don't even know what you're talking about, okay? Let, let's get that clear. First of all, you don't even know what you're talking about. But look, I ain't hurt to wrench, but I'm hurt to like make a statement real clear to you guys, right? It's such a thing as kitchen table talk, right? If you're feeling a vibe about something and you don't like something, don't come on the internet because you're not ready for the smoke that's going to come for you, okay? I am a very happy smile. You guys already know. I'm a happy, smiley, good, lucky person, but don't piss me off, right? Don't talk about my friends. Don't come for my friends, like, because I'm going to come for you, point blank, period. Like, stop it. Stop all of this coming on the internet and trying to run people down. Cut it out. You ran across the line. You're on the internet trying to talk about my friend and her home and how she gets her food and how she gets her stuff and how she gets her dolls. Like, cut it out because you don't even know what you're talking about okay stop it stop coming on the internet doing all of that and then you're, the, the same ones that's doing that you know come back and say oh i didn't mean nothing by it oh i didn't i i didn't mean it like that all that type of nonsense stop your nonsense okay stop your nonsense stop looking at people with jealousy and envy if you guys don't know marisol's doll nice that's one of my good friends okay what past those like me and marisol was pretty tight at this point right you know, so those cool people, like, she's cool people, she's, she's type of a lot of people, she's one of them type of spirits, okay? You guys don't know her, and you're going to come on the internet and try to run her down, cut it out, okay? And I, I know I really got to speak for her, because she's going to come speak for herself. She's probably already spoke to you lot already, okay? She's probably already spoke to you lot already that has something to say about her, right? But let me show you like something. You not seem to think that because somebody might be on a low income budget now or might not have much money or 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 living big million dollar lives or whatever or living living um high end that we are supposed to be or and I say we because I'm a low income person as well. You might look around and see all these dolls and everything that I have and be like, hey, you low income, but you got all these dolls. Yes. Yes, because that's where we choose to spend our money. And while we're doing that, we still keep our roof of our head, we still pay our bills, okay? All right, you guys came on this internet and tried to be like, uh, she has uh, all this amount of money worth of dolls, but she's going to a food, food bank. Yes, let me skill you on something real quick. Have you ever heard of forging? Do you even know what forging is? I'll stick the definition up for somewhere, okay? But let me tell you about forging. If you got the brands that God gave you, and you only got a limited amount of money or you want to put your money in different places, you figure out, okay, what I'm going to do for my food. It's different things you could do. If you're living out in the country, out in the valleys, on the hills where things grow, you can forage for your food, you know. You can go and pick stuff off of trees, pick stuff off out of, out of, out of the ground because food grows from the earth, right? So you can, you can get free food. You can go fishing. I know her in Bermuda, we fish. Like, you can do a lot of fishing in Bermuda, and if you can, people know how to fish, catch it, and clean it, and eat it for free, okay? For free. That's called forging for your food. When you live in a city, you can still forge for your food, you know? You can still forge for your food, which is what my girl Marisol does, right? It's where you can get food for free instead of paying a whole lot of money. Food banks do exist, and contrary to what you all think, you don't have to be destitute, living in the street, or kicking rocks in the gutter to go in, to go to a food bank and get food, okay? So knock that out your head. Like, get a grip on life, right? Get a grip on life, okay? Right? Because guess what? The food banks are there. There's many of them all across the country in the U.S. of A. that in all parts of the world. Food banks are there to help people with the basic necessity of life, which is food, Right? Okay, that's a basic necessity. Nobody should be denied food, whether you're rich or poor. Okay, 
Get that in your skull. Get that in your skull, right? Man's still getting to a food bank and getting food. It's not taking food out of nobody's mouth, you know, right? So knock that out your head. Like, get a grip on life. And yes, I'm wrenching because you early. You guys irritate me. Like, when you're coming on the internet trying to run people down and talk stupid, okay? People, and people's life, people have life-changing situations going on. And like I said before, just because you don't see somebody on, t in, on the internet kicking rocks and being on, oh, my life, oh, I'm so sad. Uh, just because you don't see people doing all that, you don't know what's going on in people's lives, right? And don't be looking in somebody's house and saying, oh, they got this, that, and the other, but they go to a food bank. You don't know how they got that stuff. You don't know how people's life changes, so stop all these shenanigans. And if you have figured out a way to get around the system, you need, to, you need to do it, okay? If you have figured out a way to get food and stuff without spending, without stealing, okay? Because it's not stealing, right? Then you go ahead and do it. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, like are you not crazy? I don't even know why I'm asking if you're crazy, because obviously you are, right? Cut all of that nonsense out. Stop coming on the internet. Basically, stop coming on the internet and running people down. You guys are quick to be on the internet to talk about, um, she has this much money worth of dollars back. She goes to a food bank. Have you ever watched her videos? Have you ever watched how Marcel has helped so many people? Huh? Have you ever helped her? Marissa has talked about how she goes to food banks and she gets the food and shares it with everybody in her area and stuff like that. Huh? People that can't come out of the house because they're either too old or they can't, they got health issues or different things going on. And Marissa will go to the food bank, get the food for these people and for herself and share it out with everybody. Huh? Did you talk about that? No, because you're busy, too busy trying to run people down because you're looking at her, 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 her house and seeing all her Claire Taylor dolls and stuff and you're jealous. Okay, yeah, let's keep that real for what it is. Jealousy is a green eye monster. Okay, stop being jealous of people. Like, stop the nonsense. Enjoy your life and the way how you choose to live and be happy with that. Don't be coming on the internet talking about people. And if you want to have these conversations, do it at your kitchen table. It's kitchen table talk. And if you don't want this smoke and if you don't want people coming for you, stop coming on the internet and talking nonsense and don't get me wrong like i already said you know when we come on her and we share our lives and we share what we do you know we we don't like we don't expect everybody to agree with everything that we're doing and we don't expect everybody to be to rock with everything that we're doing and we don't care either but we don't expect that but what you're not gonna do right what you're not gonna do is be disrespectful okay that's what you're not gonna do you're not going to come on the internet and be disrespectful and get away with it. That day, those days are over. Okay? Right? And like I said, who this is for is for. But that's not that, what, that's what you're not going to do. Okay? Content creators come on her to create, to share their lives and stuff. People blow up their daily lives and everything like that. And yeah, some of you want to take some of that video and make fodder for yourself or, or, or make conversation for yourself. But the disrespect, we're not going to have the disrespect. Okay? That's what we're knocking here. You're not going to come in and tell her, oh, how she lives in such a tiny apartment and she's got all these dudes. You're not going to come here and do all of that, okay? Right? If you don't like watching people's channel or certain people's needs, keep going, go on, go on about your business, right? And if you want to be all destitute and acting like, uh, 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 keep, get, get, take your sorry self and go that way, right? Go over there with all of that. We don't want that over her. Right? Whatever her trying to save our money, trying to build ourselves up. We're trying to enjoy our dolls. Dolls is our hobby. We share our hobby with you. That's all. And whether we want to buy a $20 doll or a $20,000 doll, it ain't got nothing to do with you. You are not in nobody's pockets. You don't you don't offer up a penny. You don't support nobody's livelihood. So good with her. Okay? Kick rocks, as Marcel would say, by yourself. Don't bring that in for her, okay? When I saw those comments, I'm like, you're not ridiculous. And I said, I'm going to make a video about it because stop the nonsense. Stop coming. People come on the internet for escapism, you know. It's escapism. It's like how you know how you'll read a book and you say to yourself, oh, that's a good book. So you're going to the book to escape. You want to go into a different world. You want to go into somebody's fantasy world. People come on the internet because they want to see what other people are doing. It's an escapism. But some of you all will be coming on the internet to try to just run people down, to nitpick, to look at their life because you're so miserable. Get out of your miserable state of mind. If you need therapy, go get some therapy. 
Okay, go get some therapy. Go find somebody to talk to instead of coming on the internet talking dumb. Okay, because people have figured out a way to get around this system to live a happy life, huh? Some people's hobby, that's what makes them happy. So y'all, we put, we invest our money into our hobby because that's what makes us happy. Okay? Ain't nobody taking nothing from nobody or, or, or removing food out of nobody's mouth and all this type of stuff. Food banks, let me tell you something. It's so much free food around her that gets discarded, taken to the dumps, thrown away, put in the trash because nobody won't get it. Do you not know that? Like, go on the, the same YouTube and Google and learn about food banks and the food waste and all the wastefulness that goes on in the US of A and all around the world, okay? So don't be trying to come for my friend because she goes to a food bank to get food for her fridge, okay? Just cut it out. Cut it out. And if you don't like it, don't watch it, Yeah? And if you got something actual to say, hit me up in my DMs and come chat to me. Hit me up in my DMs, whatever you want to do, and come chat to me so I can tell you where to get off. Like, you guys got to look at things differently. Like, stop coming on the internet. You go on Facebook, you go on Instagram, you go any place, just try to, 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 to try to run. Look for anything to run somebody down a boat. It's envy, you know. It's envy. When you go on somebody's page and they look at the stuff and they go somewhere else and start talking about them and running them down, that's envy. You're jealous and you don't even know it. So go get some help for your strife and jealousy and get over it. And then and just chill out. Chill out. Come on the internet and enjoy your doors. Don't worry about how somebody's getting their doors. That ain't none of your business. Ain't none of your business, bruh. Ain't none of your business, bruh. Yeah, don't come on the internet trying to do all of that. You guys irritate me. Yes, I'm making no because you guys irritate me. And stop it. Okay? Stop it. You guys are always ready to turn our happy hobby into some foolishness. And that's what pisses me off. Okay? Now, look, many of you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. But this is a public service announcement for anybody that even wants to think about coming on the internet and trying to run somebody down for the doors that they have in the collection and for the way how they live their life, okay? Stop trying to worry about the way how somebody lives their life and worry about how the way how you live your life. Come on people's channels to enjoy their doors. If you want to listen to the conversation, you listen to the conversation, whatever. If you don't like what they're saying, then get the heck going. With the click of a mouse and the click of a button, go on, put your thing on business. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't be on there trying to run my friend on. That irritated me. Like, it really did. You ain't trying to talk about somebody's house. You ain't trying to talk about how somebody gets their food. You ain't trying to talk about what they spend on their, on their doors and the money that they're saving. Like kick rocks. Kick rocks. Because you're not going to change nothing. Right? If anything, take a lesson so that you could get a better life for yourself. Okay? Figure out ways to get a better life for yourself instead of sitting there hating. Okay? Right. All right. I got that off my chest. I had to get it off my chest. I'm posting this video. In 1.2 seconds. And yeah. B bottom line, let let's round it up. Because I like to round my things up. Right? Leave the kitchen table talk at the table if you don't want this smoke. Stop getting those typey fingers and just typing what's on your head. Because half the time you don't even know nothing about what you're talking about. So stop doing that. Think. Stop and think before you type. And last but not least, stop bringing malice into this hobby, please. Like for crying out loud, you guys, stop bringing haterade, envy, jealousy, and malice into a damn doll hobby. Stop it. Doll hobbies are meant to be fun, enjoyed, okay? When we come as women and sit down and even some guys and chill and chat and talk to each other and no matter what's on a serious topic or running the me or, or, or fly by night topics. It's meant to be enjoyed as adults. It's meant to in go back also into our childlike state and enjoy our baby dolls together. Excited that we found people that love dolls. So stop bringing malice into the doll hobby, okay? Stop it. And with that, guys, I want to tell you, I love you, dolly family. And remember and always forget, never forget, is your dolls your way? Is your life your way? And remember to never give a crap about what anybody has to say. All right? Peace and love.